Burke's world of the future is a world of data banks, citizens' dossiers, identity cards, and restrictions on the individual. He believes the storage of personal information in data banks will be accepted, not resented, at least by the young. It will be an open, honest society in which the distant hum and chatter of the machines will be as commonplace as birdsong. Computer-aided learning systems will provide every child with his own plug-in super teacher. They will be in factories and offices everywhere. Nanofabricator, in very, very, very simple terms, uh, assembles atoms into molecules and assembles molecules into stuff. The basic fabricator will be there to make the average person autonomous, to make the average person uh, capable of supplying themselves with every material need they, they wish, anything from a bottle of Chardonnay to a piece of gold to, to a brick. If you want it, you can make it with the uh, feedstock of air, water and dirt primarily. It's not going to cost you much. You go out and dig some in the garden, that's that. I mean, this is a distant future. We're talking maybe 80 or 90 years ahead. The nanofabricator is going to allow you to live anywhere you like. OK, you want to live in Antarctica? Live in Antarctica. You won't pollute because part of the trick is there is no pollution. I mean, nanotechnology means that nothing, nothing creates pollution. So you live, you wake up in the morning and the house is nice and warm and you activate your windows to represent whatever scene outside you'd like and the virtual reality is so real that you don't know you're not there. Uh, you maybe have breakfast with a few friends. They're 3D holograms. Only when you try to put your hand through them do you recognize that they're not real. But to all intents and purposes, they are real. They are sitting across the table from you, talking to you. You can go to all the concerts, you can go to all the theatres, you can see all the plays, you can have the Globe Theatre in your house, presented by, by avatars, by 3D hologram avatars, playing the roles as the greatest actors who ever existed, playing for you in your house, which of course is turned into the Globe Theatre for the day, for the afternoon. So you can make your environment anything you wish. There will be no illness, of course because by 90 or 100 years from now, I think we will pretty much solve the problem of illness and disease. You know, it is already possible to use nanotechnology to deliver specific chemicals to specific cells. The technology is going to be easy. I mean, as, as Richard Feynman said 50 years ago, there is no physical law that prevents this happening, this stuff happening. The real problem is how we deal with it socially. If I'm right in believing that the last X million years has been us trying to deal with scarcity, and all our institutions are there in order to do that. Quick answer to what will government do and corporations do? Nothing. They won't be there. I think the greatest visible change will be the way we leave the environment alone. We will no longer need to cut down the forests and, 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 and pollute the waters and change the landscape with, with dams. I think it may turn out that things like gardening will be one of the things that people will find essential for the comfort of their soul. I would see the planet as a giant, untouched wilderness dotted with gardens. <laughs>